Well, good morning, everyone. Welcome to Music City Center. I'm Charles Starks, President and CEO of the Music City Center. I'd like to thank all of you for joining in this morning. Uh, in particular, I'm going to get a chance to introduce the mayor in just a moment. I'd like to introduce also Willie McDonald, who's with the Convention Center Authority. Willie, thank you for being out this morning. Appreciate very much you always being, uh, being present for us. You know, since we opened the building about 17 months ago, we've had the privilege of having about 500 groups come through the facility and about 750,000 attendees, unique attendees so far in this first 17 months. You know, the building is 1.2 million square feet. And one of the things that we've kind of realized pretty early on is it's a pretty good sized facility. And for some people finding their way around, while all the directional signage we have and everything that we've done, is that we've seen a need for people to be able to be able to move from meeting room to meeting room to exhibit hall and, and throughout the facility. So one of the things that is Mayor Dean announced his open data initiative that we were able to take advantage of and start working with Dr. Jules White at Vanderbilt was to try to develop this device we're going to talk about today with the app and how to help people get through the, through the facility. So I certainly want to thank Jules, I'll get a chance to that too, and Vanderbilt University, and I want to make sure I get this right, Jules, the Institute for Software Integrated Systems, I believe, so I've said that properly, uh, for all their support and all of his team's support on this. But without a doubt, the person I want to thank the most to help us getting started with this is Mayor Dean. And so if I could, if I'd like to ask the mayor to come up and say a few words. Mayor. Well, thank you, Charles, uh, for that kind introduction and for all the great work that you and your staff do here at the Music City Center. Uh, this building has been a wonderful addition to our city and has um, had a lot of visitors in the past 18 months, as we knew it would. Um, we're very pleased by, um, by what the building has contributed to the city. More people are coming to the city, more people are staying in the hotels, more people are eating in restaurants, and so more sales tax revenue is being collected to help pay for things that we need as a city. But this building is uh, big. It is a really big building, and getting from one session on the first floor meeting rooms to a lunch or dinner up here in the grand ballroom or finding the uh, bathroom after your last cup of coffee can be a challenge sometimes. This can be true whether you're a first time visitor to the convention center or a lifelong uh, resident of Nashville who's been here many times for meetings or receptions. And when a convention has a tight schedule, you don't want to be late because you can't find the right room. So we've done something to help with that. I'm thrilled to announce today that the Music City Center Wayfinding app is now available for both iPhones and Android phones. This is a big deal. The Music City Center is 1.2 million square foot building. That means this, as far as we can tell, is the largest building in the United States with an indoor navigation system using, using beacon technology. This app will change the way visitors experience the building. And here's how it works. It shows you the events going on that day in the building, automatically locates where you are, and asks you to verify your location. You can then type in where you're going, and the app will give you turn-by-turn -turn directions with photos to help you navigate to your destination. The app uses 500 photos of the interior of the building. New apps like this benefit from getting feedback from users. After using the app um, to get you where you want to go, you can provide a thumbs up if you uh, made it to your destination and details on what it was like to use the app. I think I already see a few of you uh, searching for uh, the app store in anticipation of trying to find your way back to the parking garage at the end of the event, so we'll help you out here. You should be able to find the app by searching for Music City Center on either iPhones or Android phones. Uh, I also want to talk about how the Wayfinding app highlights Nashville's emergence as a tech city where new technology is created locally that can help other cities as well. This app was developed through a program partnering the cities of Nashville, uh, Palo Alto, Boston, and Raleigh. Uh, app ideas were submitted from each of these communities. The Wayfinding app, which was developed right here in Nashville at no cost to the metropolitan government, was picked as the, one, the winning app by all four cities. Now these other great tech cities are looking to see how this Wayfinding technology can be deployed in their communities. 
This focus on technology fits into a larger culture that we've been supporting here in Nashville and within the metropolitan government. We're fortunate to have a great relationship with the tech community here in town and with the startup accelerators and venture capital investors who make so many uh, innovations possible and with Vanderbilt University, which puts a priority on research with practical applications. Jules White, who developed this app, works as an assistant professor of electrical engineering and computer science at Vanderbilt. Jules also owns Zio, which is the only word I know that is spelled with three I's, Z-I-I-I-O, a Nashville-based company that designs large indoor navigation systems and licenses tech technology from Vanderbilt. Uh, Beacon, B-K-O-N, a local company born out of the Nashville Entrepreneur Center, has graciously donated the hardware that the Wayfinding app relies on to locate you in the MCC. Around the time that the Music City Center was getting ready to open, we also announced the creation of the Mayor's Office of Innovation, which works to make metro government more transparent, efficient, and responsive. I want to thank uh, Yahweh Ye and Christine Lalonde, the co-directors of the Office of Innovation, for all the work they do every day to make this a better place. Earlier this year, I signed an open data executive order to increase public access to metro government data and make it easier for entrepreneurs and others to use that data to build new technologies. Music City Center identified a navigation need and shared its data with Jules and his team to create the new technology. This wayfinding app is just one example of what you can expect to come out of the open data initiative. We think of Nashville as a laboratory, a place where entrepreneurs and web developers feel empowered to experiment until they come up with new tools that make life a little easier for both residents and visitors. Jules, uh, thank you for all the time and effort you put into creating this wonderful tool. And now I want to welcome you to the stage to give a demonstration of the new Wayfinding app. Thank you. So in the spirit of the app, which believes that a picture is worth a thousand words, I've prepared a, a video to introduce you to the app. Um, before I do that, I'd like to quickly thank a couple of people that were instrumental in making this uh, app possible. First, Mayor Dean and his Open Data Initiative and Office for Innovation, which gave us access to this laboratory that we were able to use to develop this technology. Um, all of the folks from the MCC, Charles Starks, Mary Clippard, Eric Bluen, um, Chris Jolly um, and Yahweh Ye for connecting all of us and Beacon for providing the hardware that we are using today. So without further ado, I'd like to introduce you to the Music City Center app. The Nashville Music City Center is one of North America's newest and most innovative convention centers with sweeping architecture, LEED Gold certification, and a green roof that can reclaim hundreds of thousands of gallons of rainwater art from across Tennessee, and spectacular meeting spaces. But like any building with millions of square feet, hundreds of doors and escalators, just getting from point A to point B can be a little bit challenging sometimes. Now, the Music City Center is extending this innovation with a new mobile app that can pinpoint your location anywhere in the building and provide you with precise turn-by-turn photo-based directions to get to where you need to go, be it an event or the closest bathroom in the building. The app listens for Bluetooth low energy signals that are linked to your floor plan and sent out throughout the building. The app is your personal guide to the Music City Center. Whenever you need help, simply open the app and tell it where you need to go, be it the closest restaurant or how to get back to the parking garage. The app's directions are based on the universal language of photographs and can show you exactly where to go. And if you get lost, let us know. We keep track of routes that are confusing and continually improve. If you don't want to install the app or we don't support your platform, simply text the name or location that you'd like to go to and we'll send you back directions to get to where you need to be. The directions are still photo-based and provide turn-by-turn -turn information 
to show you how to get there. Apps like the Music City Center app are only possible in a city that fosters innovation and supports public-private partnerships, like Mayor Carl Dean has done with his Office of Innovation and Open Data Initiative, both of which directly aided in the realization of this app. The Music City Center app, Wayfinding Reimagined. So thank you so much, and uh, I'll turn it back over to Charles. Thanks, Jules, and thanks, Mayor Dean, for being here this morning. I, I, will, I will certainly say, as we've went through this and the time that Jules and his team have spent through the Music City Center, it's been quite our pleasure to have you here, and to think that we're looking against cities like Palo Alto and Raleigh and others. I mean, it's quite fantastic. And I should have said thanks to Yahweh, or I know he's back, back there for all the work that you did too, Yahweh, in helping us get this put together. So I know at this time, I'm going to ask Dr. White and the mayor are going to walk with the media to take just a little demonstration of the app. Certainly would invite the rest of you. I thank you for coming this morning. There's plenty of refreshments. Please stay and enjoy. Download the app, okay? It's really simple. I can tell you it takes just a couple of seconds. And, uh, and thank you very much for being with us this morning. Thank you. We've opened up the app here and it's confirming our location, which is predicted, which is Grand Ballrooms A1 through A2, which is where we are. And then it's asking us to look for what's in the photo right here, which uh, is actually right this way. Head to the end of the hallway and turn right. So we'll go ahead and follow this photograph. Yeah. I won't let you get lost. <laughs> is it's so beautiful and has such unique architecture it makes the photos really powerful because you can obviously see all these things. We can see the curved wall here that's in the photograph. Can you into the Sixth Avenue hallway here? The blue lights, sculpture, you see? And we're gonna walk down to level one. And that it's down here. We'll see that it's telling us to take a left at the end of the hallway. <laughs> and now we can see that we have arrived at Davidson C3. This is our, our goal. Yep. And now if you want to. Is this our award for getting you? Is Narsh? Yes, absolutely. We have the uh, got a claw on it. <laughs> well, it went very well. We ended up uh, where we wanted to be. I, I thought it was real clear from following the pictures and the directions, the written directions that came with the pictures, so how to how to follow it. Um, you know, I guess the key point being this is a really big building uh, with lots of meeting rooms and lots of different activities that take place here. And this is a great tool to make it more convenient for our visitors to find their way around. Um, and I certainly want to applaud um, Jules and Vanderbilt and the Convention Center uh, for working together to get this done and thank Yahweh for his uh, leadership on this. Um, there are other convention centers that are looking into iBeacon technology, but we think that this is the very first convention center that has done a wayfinding system with it, and we think it's the largest wayfinding system with iBeacons, um, hopefully in the world. We, we, we don't know for sure, but we, we suspect that it is. Hopefully, uh, I would love to see it in, in hospitals. I think that you could... 
Definitely. Certainly, uh, you know, if you don't feel well and you're trying to get around between radiology and somewhere else to get a test done, I think it could be a fantastic technology there. Um, I think you could certainly see it uh, uh, in other large venues, possibly airports or um, hotels that, that need to provide wayfinding between locations. Hospitals is a great idea. Yeah. Multiple towers, multiple. Yes, yeah, yeah. that'd, that'd be wonderful. Yeah, yeah. This building, I think, is unique um, in that it is so large, but it also, I think, it fits well with this because parts of the building are architecturally unique, and so the pictures are probably more helpful here than they would be in some buildings where the hallways all look the same. And yeah. so a lot of things stand out here, uh, which I think is, is interesting. And, well, the other thing I would say about this building too, that, uh, that one of the things we're particularly proud of about it is that it has so many windows that you're, unlike other convention centers, you, you are able to kind of place yourself uh, geographically in the city by just looking out the window to know what side you're on and it's, it, it adds to I think, making this work even better here. We, we certainly, Jim, we'll do a number of things on our flat screens and, and ways here for folks to be able to see and be able to download the app. Uh, primarily, though, it'll be through communications back to the planners in advance of attendees arriving so that their information is distributed to them. But here's an app that you want to add to the show app, possibly, to help you navigate the Music City Center once you arrive. So we'll certainly be able to get the word out very easily.